just it's just projectile spam everywhere. And then if some if just just the I'd item argue, tosses. I'd argue Sonic. Oh god. Alright. Dude, Sonic, no, we don't Sonic did those are Oh wait, don't. are you saying Village is fun to watch? Yeah, Village okay, is I'm fun sorry. to watch. Yeah, I thought no. you were talking about the worst to watch. I'm like Sonic. No, Sonic no, by far. No, Sonic Sonic, Sonic did those the takes worst. it to the Sonic takes that trophy to hell and back. Sonic is The only Sonic Ditto that I've ever gotten hyped before, I think it was Craftus versus uh Manny. That was actually a pretty hype set. Because they were doing like no, it was uh, Crafters vs. 6WX. I remember that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was actually pretty hype. So. <laughs> but other than that, most Sonic uh, did are. Uh, Alright. So, uh, it seems like they're going to go ahead and do the ditto. So we got Kiki versus Dyer. So, whew, this is going to be an interesting matchup because it's literally... I hope, I hope it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> the thing with dittos, it's so hard to, to, to really just kind of say what they should be doing against each other because it's like it all comes down to playstyle because exactly. in theory you know you this is your character yeah you should know what your character does but it, it comes down to playstyle basically comes on, it comes down to playstyle then it, it comes down to just a deep mindset of okay it's player versus player it's exactly player versus player and it's like you know what i know that he does this a lot let me go ahead and capitalize with, with x move so Right now, we're gonna see probably, like a lot of bananas all over the screen. Yeah, looking like Brawl Diddy with two bananas on the freaking stage. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they get kind of mixed up with who's who because it's not color coded. So that's that's the tri tricky part. Yeah, it's like a red banana. <laughs> yeah, but nothing's worse than though than Lumas. Same oh. color Lumas. That's oh, great that's tech chase Ooh. there. Waited for the second place and got the second down to the up smash to get the kill. Oh, nice work, nice work, Dyer. Yeah, because the first down tilt wouldn't have let uh, uh, the up smash wouldn't have killed from the first down to the second down to put him right in the percent uh, range. Alright. The Kiki's gonna have to definitely get that stock off of Dyer. Because Dyer right now, he's in a really good position. Good SDI. Get out of that. But still, it gets caught. Uh, taking some more damage. Uh, there we go. I grab, put him off stage. Get stage control right back. Ooh. I feel oh like he's in his God. head right now. Jeez. Yeah, he is. It's insane. He reads. Uh, it, he actually caught that? Oh my God. <laughs> Dire, I swear. I mean, it is Dire we're talking about. Alright. Kiki just having a difficult time being that talking about Dire. You can tell he's being antsy right now. Exactly, you saw how he yeah. tried to go for the ledge trump back air, it just didn't work. Ooh, that's, that nice is, uh, work. Start. Yeah, it was looking even Dyer. at the beginning, but then yeah, uh, Dyer's like, you know, Dyer's pretty quick at adapting. So he's like, oh wait, he oh, okay, I see right through you now. Very, very, very quick, and I, I love how how Dyer just had an insurance for that because he threw the banana on, on the platform, and he was throwing, he threw Kiki up, probably either A, he had a, he had, he had everything planned out. Yeah. If Kiki hit the banana. I got the perfect follow-up. If he misses, I still got the perfect follow-up. So it was a win-win situation for Dyer. So that was that was great. Great work. All right, so here we that are. That first stock was what impressed me. Though. The down tilt, and then he waits for the second place to put him right in kill percent. Oh, yeah. And then that was smash. That, that, was, that was beautiful. But we, here we are on final, final destination. And I mean, it's a flat stage, no platform. Oh, what? That banana actually stopped Kiki's approach. Wow. Took even more damage because of that. And that's one thing that's crazy with banana. Double down tilt into the fourth throw, all right? Put him off stage once again. But the, but the thing that's crazy with with the banana is that it's just the properties of it. It's very weird. It's very weird, and it takes a lot to understand it. And I mean, like, I swear, every time I see a Diddy Kong play, I learn, like, new properties with the banana every single time. You know something funny? I really do think the Diddy Ditto comes down to who uses banana better. Exactly. That's one of the main factors in this Ditto. Who uses the banana better? Because the banana is literally, that's 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 his game play. He yeah. needs to have it. Wow, that was solid, solid spacing with the banana, just hitting Kiki. Oh, oh it looked like Kiki actually read that, but he didn't uh, use the grab. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yep, Ooh, that's it. Dyer said, look, your up smash was cute, but mine's cuter. <laughs> yeah, barely killed the second one. <laughs> barely killed. Oh, oh, down throw. Oh, we're mixing it up now. Down throw. Okay, never mind. Going back up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah this Dyer. is such a terrible position to be in right now. He's small over Kiki. And, it's, and you can actually feel... I guess kind of the fear from Kiki. I can feel the pressure. Yeah, pressure, pressure as well too. Like Kiki's really, really trying to execute his combos, but Dyer just seems to have just the right reply to everything. That's exactly. Set. Down tilt, right, force match. That's it. That is a uh, game two. That's game two. I forgot so. to specify that. That would have been said. <laughs> I want to say 
probably maybe Kiki's best bet would pick a stage with platforms. Because I get it, he wanted to have FD to have full control of, of the stage. But Dyer uses banana better. Yeah, that's the thing. Dyer had the, the banana game just super solid. And we're going back to Final Destination, so Kiki just probably doesn't feel comfortable with platforms against Dyer, which I, I respect that, that's fine. But Kiki has to understand that Dyer is pretty solid with his banana game. And we're we're seeing it here right now. Like he's he has solid control over the banana. Even when Kiki throws out his own banana, Dyer takes it as his own. So he has to be careful with that. And he has to find a way to use that banana game against Dyer. Yeah. Alright, Dyer. Yeah, it's looking the same as the last game, where it's uh, just so dominant in Dyer's favor. He just, just knows how to use the banana properly. Okay, he's getting something started here. Yeah, he's not playing as as uh, sporadic as uh, game two, so hopefully in game three he plays a little bit more patiently, because I think that's what also hurt him too. He was playing a little bit too aggressive, and Dyer was able to uh, just pick up on it and okay. take advantage of it. All right, he's starting bit. to get some, some of these grabs. There it oh, is, there we go. Okay, there we go, this is even now. Right. Good dab, I can stuff that monkey flip. Very good, denying, denying oh, his double, wow, trip. double banana. <laughs> there we go, and Kiki is grabbing a lot more this time around, which there is great. We nice go. work. Wow, nice work. Huge turner from last game. But, hey, this game is, has lasted longer, so that's how you know he's doing better. <laughs> well, I mean, he's playing much more patient. Patient, not playing as sporadic as before, so that's that's really good. No reason to air dodge there. I'm glad he didn't air dodge. Yeah, that air would not have killed him. So. Oh, right through that. Oh, if you waited just a split second longer, he could have caught that. And there you go. Down smash. Going to do yeah, I don't know if you saw, he got the uncheckable spin. So oh, nothing yeah. he could do there. It's a mechanic. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, anyways. Uh, okay. This is uh, pretty much even, like I said. You know, it's like only small percent difference. But I, I feel like if Kiki does keep up the just just a piece of the game that he has now, I think he not he, he, he can actually take the seat. He's kind of doing a little bit of what he kind of did with Riot. He's kind of keeping a specific spacing against Dyer and counterattacking. I'm very impressed with how much he's turned this around. Exactly. This, the game yeah. would have been over by now if he was still sticking with the same game plan before. Oh! Wow! So close! So close! But I respect the attempt from Kiki. That was that super smart. It. And that, oh, wow, no, he Dyer. wasn't close enough. He wasn't close enough. Oh, wow. wow! 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 Kiki, just keep your cool. <laughs> he needs to keep his cool if he wants to take this. But Dyer is just doing stupendously well. Just handling out uh, just the advance that, that, that Kiki's doing. It's great. All right. So double banana on the field here. This is this is probably the worst situation ever. All right. I, I, if I, either one of them gets it down, so that's game. Oh. Uh, that's set. There it is. I didn't know you're a psychic. You got you got the right reads, man. Exactly, I'm telling you. You should be the one fighting fire. <laughs> All right.